you over, you just can't breathe. Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the What's up? It's me. And today I'm gonna be helping you with your computers actually. Um, it has come to my attention that I am actually better with computers than I thought. I, I thought I was like, you know, basic, uh, basic knowledge about computers, but it turns out I know more than I thought I'd, I did. So for this video I'm gonna help you fix a lot of things with your computer. The first thing is, is gonna be your hertz, because your monitor is capable of doing all different types of hertz. Mine is doing 144, which is the basic thing. and to check what your the best value of hertz you can get, I am going to show you that right now. The first thing we want to do is go into the control panel and then change resolution. And then here you're going to check the refresh rate and also press 144 hertz and then press it there. But if you know you, you have a 100, 144 hertz screen and it doesn't show there, um, I can help you with that as well. Um, it says you got to go to display settings. And then you need to go to advanced settings and then uh, display adapter properties for display one i only have one screen so you want to do this for those screens you have and you press here and then this little thing is going to pop up and then you press monitor and then you check here these are all your possible refresh rates you have on your monitor because when i bought this computer and my monitor it said it only said like 120 hertz and then i googled up this was like half a year ago and I saw that I can go into some more advanced settings and I found that I can have 144 hertz because I knew it when I bought this computer and the uh, no I meant the, the screen because the computer I actually built myself okay so that's the first tip for today the second tip is you go back to Nvidia control panel and you press the uh, adjust image settings with preview and usually the settings are gonna be like this and like that but the thing you want to do, you want to press use my preference and facing and drag this all the way over to performance and then click apply. This makes your computer run everything adjusted for performance, not quality. Um, it's not going to lower the quality that much. I mean, I haven't even noticed it uh, and it's pretty good. It makes you like being able to run a lot of games a lot better. And that is the first two tips I got for you today. And what's up this is the second tip for today and the, the second tip is to make your internet faster if you have you know you have a good wi-fi and you run an ethernet connection it's a very important this only goes for ethernet connections by the way uh which is the uh yeah you know what i mean and also the, the first thing you want to do is you want to press x and then the windows button to get this you you right click here i mean right click here and then you go to device manager there you go and then you scroll down to network adapters you go to the ethernet connection double tap it uh, and then you want to go to advanced and then you're going to scroll down all the way until you find the uh, speed and duplex which is here and then you usually it's going to be like this out of navigation negotiation but you want to press one gigabits full duplex which is going to use the total amount of uh, internet speed that you have um, this makes your internet run a lot faster and you will see that the updates updates are a lot better as well hi and the, now this is the uh, what is what is it now the fourth or the third anyway this is to help to fix your internet problem and sometimes you may get this which I'm gonna show you right now yeah uh, it's the DNS problem and it happens to me like a couple times and I have googled a lot and now I know the solution except then just waiting a couple days because the first time I had no idea what to do and I just waited a couple days and I logged in the computer and it suddenly worked but if you want this to work right now I can help you with that actually but the first thing you want to do is restart your router and I can show you how to do that right now hi what's up it's Tristan and I'm on my phone right now, as you can see here. And I'm gonna show you how to... Wait, I gotta turn on the lights. Boom, there we go. Oh, that's orange. I look like Trump. What? This is the thing you wanna do. This is my router right here. I'm gonna go to the back. You can either turn it off by the button which is behind for me, which is over wide away over there. Or you can just Take this, and you want to take it out. I'm, I don't want to do it right now because everything is fine with me. But you take it out, and then you have to wait 60 seconds or more 
the best thing you can do is wait two minutes. So the, all, all the electricity runs out and the Wi-Fi has time to reset and etc. And when that's done, you go back to the computer. And now when you're done that, you want to restart your computer as well. And I hope you know how to do that. And uh, the second thing you want to do here is you want to press CMD in this Windows search bar. And then you want to right click and run as administrator. You want to press yes. Then you press N-E-T-S-H-I-N-T. IP reset and after you've done that you want to press C these things which is alt and the dots and then press alt gr and plus which make the backslash and then reset log and dot txt boom now this is going to come up resetting resetting uh, a nutshell is a command that line-based tool that enables administrators to remotely administer and configure critical network services. And of course, you don't want to restart the computer yet because I'm not done. Uh, you also want to re reset the WinSock. Uh, you do it like this. Netch again, and then WinSock. My bad. And reset. And then also you want to do it like this. Um, which is going to flush the DNS and restart and restart and change the, not change the IP, I mean restart the IP basically. Uh, which is not netch, it's IP config and then forward slash the normal one and then flush DNS. Boom. Now that's done. Uh, when that's done, you can just close this tab. Uh, there we go. And then you want to restart your computer and hopefully it will work. It works for me and I hope it works for you too. Okay, so for for this next tip guys, you're going to want to go to the control panel. Uh, I don't know why mine is in Swedish when I have changed to English. Anyway, I'm going to go here and then we're going to system and security and then you want to go to power options. From here you want to click on high performance. If you don't have high performance, you can do this. You can change plan settings and change advanced power settings and then change to high performance right here. Uh, as you can see, I already done that, so I'm gonna have to do it. And the next thing you wanna do, is you wanna go to GeForce Experience, which is an app you should download. And then you press some drivers and then update. Uh, I have already done this, uh, so you don't need, I don't need to do it, but this is very good for you. And you can also do it manually by going to Device Manager. You go here. And then you want to look for display adapters, which is mine here, GeForce RTX um, 2070 Super. You right click it, update driver, and then you can search from here, computer driver software or admittedly update driver software. Or you can double click it. You can also click on driver and update here and you'll get the same uh, choices over there. And one next tip I got for you guys is go to Race to Cortex. If you don't have it, you gotta download it because this thing does. I can show you actually. I can go into uh, a game. L let's see here. I can just go into. Uh, how about Minecraft? I can show you this. It's really easy. Uh, the thing it's gonna do, it's gonna remove a lot of things. I'm gonna show you. In just a minute. So there we go, guys. Uh, that that is what the, the thing does. Um, the the reason why I I couldn't speak there was because maybe I already said it, texted it or something. But the reason is uh, when Minecraft start for some reason uh, my audio goes away. Anyway, now you know the, what it does. It removes all the RAM usage that is not important to gaming. Um, so y I recommend downloading this app. And another thing you can do is when I press Windows key and also R and here you want to press temp and then you press continue because and then you want to uh, delete everything here just like that uh -huh. and then you want to press delete boom and then skip those who you can delete because those are the files you're currently using just like that and then you want to do the same thing again, but you st instead of temp, you want to you want to go with, oh sorry, which one is it? Oh there it is. Sorry about that. I forgot which key it was. And you want to go to percent instead, uh, and also temp in the middle. 
There you go. And you want to do the exact same thing here. Just delete the things which is running in the background. And then skip those you can't uh, delete because those are the RAM you're currently using, as I just said. There we go. Oh, do this for all objects, my bad. There we go. And so you want to go to performance settings, and mine is in Swedish. But you just type in performance and this should come up. And then you press here, and then you're going to press adjust for best performance. This is exactly the same thing I showed you with the uh, video control panel in the beginning. So you press here, and then press apply and OK. It does not look that different. Actually, I can just keep it just for argument's sake. When you move this around, it's going to look like this. Um, the thing is, I have a very powerful powerful computer, and uh, I don't need to do this. But if you, if you need to, this helps a lot. I promise you that. So guys, thank you for watching, and this has been my first video to for tips and tricks for your computer. And if I helped you, uh, maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe, I don't know. Have a good time.